So we're here live at the Wednesday Farmers Market in downtown Santa Monica. I'm Jody Lowe. I'm one of the Farmers Market managers here for the city of Santa Monica. And we are going to talk with one of our farmers who's been tending the market for quite a while to find out some background on his farm. Hi. Hello. So Hi. tell us your name and your farm. My name's Troy Regeer and uh, we're from Regeer Family Farms. And we're... And what products do you grow? We grow peaches, nectarines, cherries, mandarins, but mostly classic yellow peaches and a few white peaches and nectarines mixed in. Fantastic. Now, we're often curious about how much work goes into your products and coming to the market and why you chose farmers markets over some more traditional um, commercial sales line. So you can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, so my dad and I, we, uh, we bought 20 acres, well, my dad did in the 1970s, and he was a commercial farmer, and we had our own small packing shed, and we would pack it, and then the salesman and uh, the cold storage and everybody else seemed to get the money. So we decided to, as a summer job for me when I was in high school, which was in 83, I think, uh, I, I've been here 36 years, so wow. I was a junior in high school, and we started doing farmers markets. And we said, "Hey, look, we could uh, we could do pretty good at this if we grew a lot of different varieties and did like a you know farm to table." And, and we really we we're really been blessed just just the length and of time we've been here and the and our customers who have, who have grown to to buy from us. That's really impressive. I mean, when you're talking 36 years in this particular farmer's market in downtown Santa Monica, so this market turns 40 next year. So you've been here nearly since the get-go. That's that's Almost, some longevity. Yeah. I yeah. love that. So what time do you have to wake up in the morning to get to the Wednesday farmer's market? On a Wednesday, we wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and try to be on the road at 2.30. And how long does it take to drive? Three and a half hours. Wow. And and so we're getting uh, restaurants and orders and, and getting setting up for market, you know, before it opens. And so two in the morning, three, three and a half hours to drive down. Then you're selling all day. Then you have to do that same drive back home. So what time do you finish your day? We finish about 1 to 1.30. We're on the road, probably about 1.30 to 2 on the road. Get home about 5.30ish. So it, it seems like a long day and you, you get tired, but it's worth it. It is a long day. That's that's amazing, and we're so grateful for that. Um, so, and why did you? So, you you got into this when you were in high school. Uh, what kept you in farming? Why did you stay with this career? Well, we we I grew up on the farm, and my dad was actually a barber, but my grandpa was a farmer in the 30s and 40s too. So, I've always grown up in the country, and I was kind of like this wild kid who liked to play with his <laughs> tractors and toys in the dirt and ride his bicycle. So, I just loved the country and being outdoors and. Uh, in our area, we, we were blessed to have 20 acres, and then I bought another 10 where I live. So I have 30 acres total, a real small family farm for, from where we're from. But uh, it's been a good way of life. You know, you work hard when the season's going, but you do have some time off to be with your family when the season's slow. So it's uh, it's been a really good life. That's so fantastic. Now, I noticed that you have some employees and some family in your booth. Can you talk to us a little bit about the labor side of things? Yeah, I have two daughters that are with me today and usually through uh, through the summer, they're with me helping me and doing restaurants and hotels. We'll see how that goes this year, a little slow, but uh, yeah, I have another couple other employees that work for me. So when it gets busy, we have about four to five employees here in the summer. And then I have uh, three full-time guys at home, picking, pruning, thinning. So, you know, with peaches, they're very labor intensive. We have a pruning in the winter. Springtime, we have thinning. You have to hand thin each one of them. And so with the water and, and everything, on, we have about 7,000 an acre into it before we even get to the market. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Um, and are all your kids involved in the operation? Most of them. I have a middle daughter who's trying to be a nurse right now. So she's she's doing her nurse. Uh, she's actually scribing for a doctor in Fresno right now. Nice. But she's been, all three of them were here last summer. So hope to get them all three here again this summer. And do they intend to stick with farming or? I think maybe one of them might, but for the most part, I you know, they kind of, I told them to get a college education first. <laughs> <laughs> so you have something to fall back on. Yeah, that's great. But they must, they must just really enjoy the way of life that you've been able to provide for them on the farm. It's and been really good and I have some good memories with them I and mean, they've been coming to this market since they were three years old. I used to bring them and they used to sit on dad's truck and watch everybody come by. So they, 
well, I'm going to have some good memories when they get married and leave. I love that. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Troy. Let's get to some of the good stuff. Can you show us some fruit that you brought today and maybe talk I about? I actually sold out today. You sold out I today? I did, yeah. Okay. We're, we were just getting going on our season, so we don't have a lot of volume yet, but in two weeks, in two weeks, we're going to have a lot of yellow peaches and good stuff coming. Yellow peaches. And how many varieties do you grow? We grow about 60. 60 varieties yeah. and they all taste slightly different different times of the season Slightly different and they all come off every two to three weeks okay and tell us do you share with your customers on social media anywhere where we can do. they find you, you? Can find us at uh, regear family farms on instagram Excellent. and we'll keep you posted on what we're bringing kind of what we're bringing that that week too i love that thank you so much troy so again that's troy regear you can find him at the wednesday market during the summer season with his peaches and stone fruit which are just delicious we're not doing sea right now because of COVID-19 so you'll have to trust us on that one but stay tuned to his Instagram for updates on the varieties and then find him in the fall with some incredible tangerines as well we're signing off for now we'll see you back again have a great day